Taos Nehu. It means natural, like no added stuff in it. Taos Yuva, that's them whole wheat. This is Sephoitos, it means mix. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. So I remember that in my um, last video, I promised you guys that I was going to come to the store and show you the um, actual price of food stuff, some of the basic food stuff in Finland. So um, I'm here at the store and I remember this promise. So I'm going to shoot this video. I'm going to show you guys around so you can see how much these things cost, like uh, a can of milk and potatoes or rice and all that stuff, like onion and the rest. Just the basic things you need, just like I promised in the video. So shop with me. Now, when it comes to potatoes, there are different types of it right here and then different prices. So, you can actually decide to take the cheaper ones or the more expensive ones. So, you just take what you need and then you weigh it. But also, over there, over there they have some ready ones. I'm going to show that to you in a second. So, this is the price of them. Um, basically, this is the price of potatoes. This is a general pot potatoes. So, they have like um, uh, different types and... This is a particular brand Amapel, so this is how it costs, how much it costs, and then this is onion, how much it costs. But like I mentioned in that video, um, the price of the food stuff also depends on the store that you're visiting. So like I said, there are cheaper stores actually. So right now I'm in S Market, there is um, Lidl, and then there is a Prisma, and then KST Market, and then K Market, and the rest. So the price of this food store depends on the shop or the store that you're visiting. In one of my videos, I have a video where I talked about cheap stores where you can actually buy food stuff. So you can check it out. I'll put it in the description box of this video so you can go and check it out. And um, what you need to know is that the, this food store are actually the same the prices are not different even if in each store you can see that um, they are like a few cents off a few things so in this store I'm going to show you and then you see that um, the price difference is not like so different from other stores as well salad basically costs that and that depending on the type of salad that you're buying that's the green uh, leafy green and then there's more here lettuce salad i think this is like the cheapest that you can find that's like a little bit under one euro but but it depends on the store as well but you can't get it it's the same like even if you find it from a cheaper store it's going to be like maybe 95 cents so like i said the difference is not that much as for carrots this is the uh, price of carrots so now they have carrots that are made in finland here yeah? and then they have the ones that are actually imported I would advise you to buy the carrots that are made here in Finland because they actually test so much better than the ones that are imported. So um, basically when you're buying carrots, these are the general prices, not um, less than one euro. And so it depends on how much sticks you have in the bag, but it's usually around this price. And then this is another, um, a smaller one. So this is for uh, 95 uh, cents so under one euro and over here you have some onion so that is the price for the red onion is uh, less than one euro that's 85 cents and then the the whole bag of onion this is 75 cents this is the bag so these are actually like small they have a bigger bag so for this bigger bag you, you're going to spend a little bit more For this bigger bag is one euro and thirty cents. Like I mentioned earlier, there are different types of potatoes, and then also what you're going to use them for. They have the ones for the soup, and then they have the ones for frying, and then they have the one for mashed potatoes and all that. So over there, I showed you guys earlier on potatoes that you can actually um, weigh by yourself, take and weigh. But here they have the ones that are already packaged. So I'll show you so that you see. So these ones are already packaged, so you can just take them as you go. So this is never I talked about. This is a good brand. I love it because it's really good for whatsoever, for boiling, for mashed potato, for soup, and all that. And also in the uh, in the oven, it's quite good. So these ones are a little bit more expensive. Like this one is almost five euros for this bag because um, it's made in Lapland. It's like um, traditional Finnish potatoes. And these ones that are made in Lapland are quite. Um, they, they taste different, the texture is different and they are more expensive, so that is why it's that expensive. But usually the potatoes are around this um, price. 
and um, that it also depends on if it's one kg or two kg but they usually come in two kgs so you can see that are around the same price all of them and then you have the tomatoes these are actually finished tomatoes and for it a uh, KG that a kilo a kilogram is four euros and nineteen cents. So yeah, they are. So the same way, you just pick what you want and then you wait over there. Like I explained to you guys earlier, just like I talked about the the, the carrot, that's the pot canna. Also for the tomato, I would advise you to buy the um, finished tomatoes because they actually taste so much better than imported ones. I think it's because um, the foodstuffs that are made here, they, are, they don't use lots of preservatives and all that because they don't have to like um, export or import or whatever. So that's why it's actually uh, better, I think. So um, if you can afford it, because some of them are really cheap, or if you can, you find it, I advise you to buy the ones that are made here because you end up enjoying it better than the ones that are imported. That is honest street okay so and if you like cucumbers that this is the price and it's actually the same in most places so it's um like if you take one now i'm just going to show you one for the purpose of this video let's say this one the number is um 82 over there so we're going to wait let's see how much it costs this is quite big of course it depends on the size of what um the cucumber you're taking but uh let's see see this is almost two euros because it's um quite big if you take a smaller one you can actually get it for about one euro and a few cents and here are bananas they cost um a euro and 55 cents per kilogram kg <laughs> so that uh, and also i have to say this that um some things are more expensive than others so when you're 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 buying so when you're buying your fruits or your vegetables or some um some other items always check because there are some sessions that you find that are more expensive than other sessions like um this banana i showed you right now is uh is uh, cheaper than these other ones this one here is more expensive as you can see so mostly or um often you find that the, the fruits and or vegetables or whatever it is like they, they, they put in some sessions like these fruits in these sessions are actually more expensive than the ones you have over there and also goes for these sessions here same thing so one thing you do for yourself is to always check the price when i first arrived in finland i always made the mistake of um uh reading the price tax wrongly and i always end up taking fruits that are actually more expensive than what i what i intended so over time i learned how to read the price tax so you can find that um some food items are actually um they have two different prices so there's a cheaper brand and then there's like the more expensive one so for the students i would advise you to always go for the cheaper brand that's where you can actually save some money the, taste the same they are, they are the same basically but maybe um yeah sometimes they do taste different but yeah if you can go for the cheaper one because it'll be more expensive uh, it will be better for you as a student and this session they have um your cheeses and all that that if you like cheese a lot so there are different brands as well of the cheese there is this a rainbow because it's wearing the ass market now so this is like a, a brand from them and then there is extra as well so, so you can see that the price tags are different so depending on the your taste and also depending on the amount of money that you have so you can go for something that is cheaper or something that is more expensive and over here is more cheese like i said earlier on there are different grades of it and then different prices just to fit or correspond with everybody's uh, range your pocket what it looks like and if you're a bread lover this is a session for bread so uh, bread is quite cheap here in Finland it's not so expensive because bread is like a basic amenity so <laughs> it's not so expensive this is uh, two euros for this whole bunch and then you have bigger ones there that are uh, sorry almost two euros but this is like the same thing So if you notice all the prices are almost like the same thing like less than two euros less than two euros one a euro and 55 cents a euro and 35 cents and then a euro and 98 cents one euro and 95 cents one euro and 75 cents you can see this this is even less than one euro okay, and this is the there is the general package and um, parcel meat that is over i'll show you guys in a, in a second 
but over here they have this uh, place where you can actually buy fresh meat from the um from here <laughs> so it's a quite good place there's lots of varieties and all that so this is the price that is already like um, smoked fish and all that but if you talk about the salmon and the other fresh fishes they are here and this is the price that so um i'm gonna tell you share a secret with you in a second but i'll just show you guys the price generally first so you can see the price that and then i'm going to share a secret with you when it comes to buying like salmon if you really love salmon well over here it's like cooked food the ones that are ready if you maybe you are in a hurry and then or you need just coming from work and you can't cook so you can actually buy ready-made food from this store as well and then like this chicken now is already um grilled in the oven and you can get it for it used to be one euro for one i can't remember how much is it now uh, it used to be one euro for one let me see if i can find it guys hold on sorry how much is it uh it's 99 cents uh -huh. hmm. so now it's even less than now. I, I, I it used to be one euro so now it's 99 cents so yeah that's one euro it's the same thing so it's still the same thing one euro for this so you can naturally get that quickly if you're in a hurry yes i said i was going to share a secret with you guys so when it comes to buying all this uh, meat fresh meat and all that so what you know is that in in at a particular point in a particular store certain things are cheaper sometimes now you can see like right now um, i show you the salmon okay so right now this is the price of the salmon per um, uh, kilogram so you can see so it depends on the store and it depends on the time i've noticed that sometimes this store can be selling their salmon for like 1750 and you find that in a maybe uh, k city market is for maybe on sale for like 10 euros and some cents so if you really have that time you can check at every point in time how much a particular store is selling something and compare to the price of another store so that you that way you can save money even the little that they said is cheap sometimes you find that um little has salmon that is even much is more expensive than the salmon that you buy from here so it's it all depends on the season and then all depends on the store but it's not there's not like a basically one store that is like cheap all the time sometimes it actually fluctuates in this session they have smoked salmon and um some other type of salmon maybe sorted salmon and all that so sometimes you see that the salmon that you have here is actually cheaper than the one that you have in the counter that i just showed you so and also here you can find sales like you can see this online it's gonna go bad maybe like um tomorrow or yeah this is tomorrow sometimes it can be like immediately like today or sometimes it can be like two days so there's, there's always this a discount you get like minus 30 percent so as a student if you can or if you find them and also if the date is right i would advise you to take these ones and then just cook it immediately when you get home because you can actually save money by doing that okay so now when it comes to meat meat also depends on the store and also on the type of meat you're buying if you're buying chicken or you're buying the pork or you're buying beef so i'm just going to show you around like the the, the uh, basic prices for this um, items here now this is very common type of chicken uh, pack that you find here in finland in all the stores this particular pack same thing it comes in like three in a pack and this is the price right now um well that is like totally the general price but when you check on top of the chicken itself you see that there are different prices attached to it depending on how, how much it weighs so um the market store you go to the price is still the same it doesn't um go less than this so much or higher than this so much it's always around the same figure and also there is this type that are all like basically the same but like i said you find that in some stores it's actually more expensive than others for example it's possible to find a particular pack of chicken that is um, maybe cheaper here but then you go to like k city market it's more expensive and over here you have some um chicken as well and then some uh, minced meat and then some beef and pork so if i okay i'm gonna give the price of uh, minced meat you see this minced meat is a, a little below uh, four euros that's like the general price but it also depends on how much fat it has in it so if it has a lot of fat in it then it's going to be maybe cheaper for you like two euros or so but if it has like a 17 percent fat or 15 percent fat or 10 percent fat then it's going to be more expensive like you see this is like 359 that's like the same thing closely and then this is a 365 the same thing closely so this one has like 12 percent of fat in it so that is why it's um 365 and then the one that is um 
almost four euros. And there's more meat here and pork. So if you find those sales like, like I talked about, please go for them because they are quite um, a good way to save money also. Now this is the type of pork that you find in many stores here. So you can see that this one goes for $10.65. That is for, when I say that, that's the kilo, okay? But when you take pick it actually, it's safe. the price is 7 euros because it's not up to a kilo. So if it's not up to a kilo, it's uh, cheaper. But you find that um, this is like the, basically the, the same range. The difference is not so much. Sticking to one store can actually get boring at a particular time because there are certain things you find in that in um, other stores that you may not have or you may not find in one particular store. So when you can and you when you have the money once in a while, please experiment and then check out other stores as well. Now milk is one thing that you find cheap here. It's not too expensive because it's kind of a basic amenity that everybody should be able to afford. So you can see 98 um, cents. That's like under one euro. And then these ones are quite cheap. So this is actually 69 cents. So that is good. And then there is a 45 cents also. And then most of them are, you find many brands that are actually less than one euro and different types. There's the one that is a rasvaton. Rasvaton means that there is no fat in it, that the fat is taken out. And then there is um, kevut. There is kevut. Kevut, uh, I look for kevut. Okay, yeah, so this is kavut. Kavut means um, it's light milk, it's not so heavy. So this particular red one, Taos Maito, is like natural, like um, everything is in there. So um, there's, there are different types as well. And then there is, um, there's another one, or is it Luomo? I think it's the same as that, but basically um, you find like the general things. There's another one, Ukos Maito. Okay, so the prices are different. But it, no matter the type of milk, so no matter the type of milk that you like to buy or you like to drink, there's always a cheaper version of it for, so that everybody can afford it. So that's the good thing. Okay, so there's rasbaton there. How much is the rasbaton? Rasbaton is 69 cents. That's less than one euro. And then this um, uh, cosmito I talked about earlier on is um, a little bit over one euro. That's 109. And then there is a Taos Maito, that's the one if you really like a thick, heavy, full cream, okay, full milk, is um, 120. And then there is a um, Kevut Maito, that's the Kevut Maito I talked about, that is like light milk. So this light milk is, um, this particular one now, Sata Maito, is um, 109. You can get a cheaper one for 0 0.69, you see it over there, 0 0.69. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh, up there, I think it says 069. And then there is this one it's for 125. And this session, you have um, ice cream and all the sweet stuff, but I'm not going to talk about it because, like I said, it's not a basic amenity, <laughs> it's not a basic food stuff. So, the point of this video is to show you guys the cost of basic food stuff. All right, so um, when it comes to juice, there are different types as well. There's um, um, and different prices so like remember i talked about this extra is very uh, cheap and then there's this rainbow as well so it all depends on the how much you can afford at that moment different types of juice you can find here so when you see juice and it's written um taos when you see a juice written taos mehu it means uh it's uh, natural like no added stuff in it so that's what it means by taos mehu Okay, so they have it there mostly. Then all these other ones here, yeah, some of them they have sugar added to it. But the good thing also is that you can see it here written. If there is nothing added to it, they will tell you that it's sugar return. Meaning that there is no sugar added to it. So now this is the price. Like for this, that you see, you can see that it's 106. And then there's another one that is the Paruna is um, 096. And if you love uh, vegetables just like me, there's a whole um, area where you have lots of vegetables, different uh, bunches and different types. So it all depends also what's inside the vegetable, if it's like a mist pack or is a particular one and also the brand. So 
there is always a cheaper brand for everyone and, and what someone everyone can afford so there are more expensive brands and cheaper ones and i give you an example you look at this one now this is sequoitos it means um, like a um, veggie veggie mix so the same type of mix the same things inside and this one is um uh, where is it now it's 43 cents you can see that and the same thing another brand is 55 cents see it's the same thing inside but another brand so that way there's like the prices are not fixed for these food items but the prices are different based on grades and levels so everyone can actually afford the same kind of thing lots of vegetables here different kinds of vegetables and this particular brand is quite this findus is always expensive so no matter the store you go to is like basically the same price now what Lidl tries to do is that they try to reduce every one of their items by a few cents so it's not that like, like this general belief that Lidl is cheaper although a few cents here and there can help you at the, in the long run to save when you save here and there but what they actually do is that if a particular um, uh, uh, food item is let's say two euros in most of the stores you see that later we make their own to be one euro and not and 95 cents i mean they remove a few cents from it so those are like the cheapest store but basically the price difference is not that much more veggies here up there lots of it with different price ranges that everyone can afford and then when it comes to canned food, it depends on the canned food in, in, uh, in question. If you like tuna a lot, there are different grades of tuna as well. So you see that, 179 and also another one is a 305 So that's the price range, 240 Depends on how many it is and if it's mackerel or if it's tuna. So um, like mackerel can be more expensive too. So this is like almost like it's like the cheapest in, right now. No, oh, this I think this one nineteen is the cheapest right now here, and um, other things as well. If you like this stuff, I'm just trying to pick out the general things that uh, like the people actually need. Okay, so let's talk about ketchup. Ketchup is something that everybody uses, right? Okay, so when it comes to ketchup, like this um, um Hanes is like very popular and uh, quite uh, expensive like generally so this is the price of it here depending on how big the uh, pack is or how big the bottle is and um, so this Felis now is like another one like close close the price is close it's very very close to the first one I talked about the price is quite close but then as you go further you see cheaper ones in case you want like um, this one now is cheaper it's a cheaper brand white five like that is cheaper of course 265 you can see that it's cheaper and then you keep going like this rainbow is cheaper now 190 so it depends on how much you can afford at that moment but there is actually a ketchup that you can afford and then lastly we are going to talk about rice and pastas and all that different kinds of uh, pastas and noodles because these are things that people actually eat a lot all right so here it is yeah noodles like um it's quite cheap noodle is something that is very cheap always cheap so no matter the store the price range is like the same like very close closely following one another you can see that and then there's this uh, two minutes noodles and egg noodles and all that okay so let's go to pasta here you find all different kinds of pasta and that is the price for that so the pasta also have grades depending on what you want if you want the um, luomo that's the organic one or if you want the full whole wheat yes if you want whole wheat pasta of course that would be more expensive than the um the one made from just durum wheat so it depends on the kind of uh, pasta that you want some are actually more expensive than the other and also it depends on the brand like some are like italian pastas that you find that are actually more expensive full corn is the same thing as um, um whole wheat in Finnish is uh, actually a uh, taos yuva, that's a um, whole wheat, that's what it means. So you can see that the whole wheat pasta, that's the uh, full corn, is more expensive than um, these other regular ones made from durum wheat. Like this like this one is um, 2 95 almost 3 euros, that's the full corn, that's the um, whole wheat pasta, spaghetti. But then if you want to go for the cheaper one, you can even get as low as um, 185 you can see that 
and 155. And over here we have rice, Uncle Ben's rice and Yasmin rice and all that. So for the price of Yasmin rice, it depends on the brand you're buying. So um, this Uncle Ben's, the one from Uncle Ben's is uh, almost three euros. And then there's um, reseller, 3.45. And there's 2.19. And then there is a 195 so it, the price depends on um on the brand and also what you can afford so like i said there's always a price range or a price for everyone and then you have the rice that this particular rice is actually good i recommend it i love it it's, although it's cheap but it's actually very good so it's long grain rice this one is 139 that's for the one kg and then for the two kg you get for 275 you want to eat oat if you are the type that likes oat morning breakfast so there is this is the price for oat kaura okay that's oat oatmeal there so there are different types of it as well depending on what you like now that is the cheap one right so they have the more expensive ones as well they are here these ones are, are, are more expensive and then this this um luomo that's organic so when you see this sign here, it's, it's um, organic, so it can be more expensive sometimes. The one that is commonly eaten is actually this one, but this one is a bit different because it's, um, it's the iso, means that's a big one. It takes a long time to cook, 15 minutes. There's another one that takes about uh, 5 minutes to cook, so that one is quite uh, popular, but they don't have it here right now. So what I said earlier, that in some stores you find some things and then in them, and they are not in other stores so maybe something you like you won't find it in all the stores so that's why it's good once in a while if you can afford to just visit all the stores so you have that kind of um, um, experience you can test everything out for yourself and also talking about breakfast we have here your muesli and then your series and all, all all of that and granola if you like that so you can see this particular granola is um, gluten free so it's more expensive that's a 475 so um, there's another a cheaper one though uh, mostly of um, less than four euros so it depends on actually your taste what you like if you like the mostly that has fruits in them and then the one that have nuts in them they're actually more expensive than you have just straight uh, mostly with like like not so much stuff in it and also it depends on the brand as well so like this is a cheaper brand now rainbow I said earlier is a cheap brand in this store so um, each store have their own cheap uh, cheap brand so this is 235 So that's another granola. And then this is another one. And then for your series, there are different types as well and different prices. So that. You can see the price range. In as much as our advice is to go to different stores so you can save money, like I said, that it's cheap for you to go to Lidl so you can save money, and then um, um, some particular items you go to a particular store so you can save money because it's cheaper there. But you have to remember also that there are certain things that you find in some stores that you can't find in other stores. So um, if you end if you end up going to one store all the time, so you will end up actually um, eating the same thing. So it can it can be boring sometimes. So that is why it's advisable that um, once in a while you can maybe experiment a little bit and they try to go to another store even if it's more expensive but you can buy stuff from the other store and um, you get to try different things at every point in time okay guys so yeah that's it these are the um, basic food um, items that uh, you actually need every day so that's what I'm showing you guys like I promised so these prices are actually not so different from the stores like I said and also it depends on the brand that you want to buy like some stores have some cheap brands every store have their own cheap brand so they have the expensive one and then they have the cheap one so there's actually an option for everyone to pick from so that's it guys i hope this has been able to answer your questions so if you have any questions more about food stuffs in finland i'd like you to put your questions in the comment section of this video and if there's anything i left out that you want me to like show you guys maybe make another video i can show you guys how much it is so i uh, put in the comment section of this video so i can i can go check it out for you and then show you how much it is so i hope this was a fun video if you enjoyed it give it a thumb up and if you're not subscribed please do so in the comment um, subscribe down below and turn on the notification button so you know when i have a new video all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye